Good morning, my dear students of class 12. Today we will be continuing with this first chapter of solid state, and today's topic for discussion is packing fraction or packing efficiency. So, packing fraction, what does it mean? It means that you know we have discussed about cubic unit cell in our previous video. So, in this particular unit cell, what is the percentage of volume occupied by the particles like the atoms, the constituent particles. So first we will be discussing about packing fraction in simple cubic cells. So packing fraction, the first one we will be discussing about packing fraction in simple cubic cell. So in the in our previous video we had calculated the number of atoms present in simple cubic cell. So, I hope you still remember it. It is one atom. So, the number of atoms present in simple cubic cell is how much? It is one atom. So, for this, we need to draw the structure of simple cubic cell. So in simple cubic cell, you have atoms at the corners. How many corners are there? Eight corners. So you have atoms at the corners. So for the purpose of calculating packing fraction in simple cubic cell, we need to consider atoms to be spare. Okay, spare. So here, say so this, this is point A. This is point B. So these atoms are considered to be spheres and these two atoms which are present at this point A and B they will be touching each other at this point ok so this is the sphere or the atom present at point B and this is the atom which is present at point A similarly you have other spheres present at all the corners of this cube so here, you know this is the this length. This, each side of a cube is having the base length as A. Okay? So, here, the distance from here, this point, the center of the sphere to this point is how much? It is R. And from this point, A to this point, it is again R. So, in this arrangement of atom, in this, arrangement of atoms what we have we have the distance between these two nearest neighbor is what distance between nearest neighbors what is the distance between nearest neighbor it is r plus r so the distance between this point and this point is what? It is R plus R and this sense we can say is the diameter of the sphere. So it is equal to diameter which is nearest distance between A and B. Neighbor A and B is how much? It is D which is equal to 2R. This one. And this distance say you know each side of Q is what? They are all equal. So, since the length of each side is how much? A is length A. Therefore, from this, we can say that A will be equal to 2R. So, this distance as a whole is equal to what? A. And this distance, distance between the nearest neighbor is how much? It is D, which is equal to 2R. So, this is our first expression. Now, we need to consider the volume occupied by one atom. Okay? So, why one atom? Because it is simple cubic cell. In simple cubic cell, one atom is present. So, volume occupied 
by one atom. One atom, or you can write it is spherical in sense, so one sphere. One sphere, since it is simple cubic cell, because one atom is present, this, this point is very important. So you know, the volume of the sphere it is 4 by 3. 1 into, since one atom is present, 1 into 4 by 3 pi r cube, which is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube. So this is the volume occupied by one sphere in simple cubic cell. So then we should be calculating, we should be calculating the total volume of the cube. Yes or no? Because we are going to calculate what? Packing fraction. Therefore, the volume of the unit set is how much? You know the formula for cubic cubic structure? It is it is what? A to the cube, that is A cube. Now, now since A is equal to 2R, we can replace this with 2R whole cube. This is equal to, so it's from here, I have written this side, okay? A cube, I substitute A with 2R cube. So here, 2 to the 4, 4 to the H R cube. So this is the volume, total volume of the cube. And this is the volume of pi by the sphere, the atoms in simple cubic cell. So we have both. Now, how can you calculate packing fraction or packing efficiency? The volume of pi by one sphere divided by total volume of the cube into 100 percentage. So let me do this part here. So here we have packing, I'm writing packing fraction, PF, packing fraction will be equal to volume occupied by one atom or you can say sphere because atom is considered to be spherical in say divided by total volume of the Unit cell into 100 percentage. Into 100 percentage. So you know the volume of part by one atom, it is how much? 4 by 3 pi r cube. 4 by 3 pi r cube divided by total volume. Total volume is what? H R Q if you cancel out this two will be cancelled out so if you cancel out after simplification you will be getting so here it has to be here what you have you have into 100 percentage also so 100 percentage so after simplification the value that you obtain is 52.36 percentage which is taken approximately as 52.4 percentage. So 52.36 percentage, which is taken as 52.4 percentage. So what we, what information do you get from this particular packing fraction? So if the volume of the unit set, the Q, is what 100 percentage, then out of 100 percentage, 52. 52.36 percentage of the volume of the total cube is occupied by the atom. Other spaces are what? It is vacant or empty spaces. So hope this is, you understood it. Now similarly, in your syllabus, in our previous video, we have discussed about simple cubic unit cell, body centered unit cell, as well as this uh, face centered cubic cell. So packing fraction, calculation of packing fraction for all this. Three types of unit cells are there in your syllabus, and this derivation is also there. So you, you need to practice this properly. Now let's calculate 
the packing fraction for body cell body center unit cell it is what it is packing efficiency in body center cubic structure now in number 2 we are going to calculate packing fraction for body center body center structure cubic structure okay cubic structure so again from our previous discussion we have calculated the number of atoms present in body center unit cell in its unit cell you have calculated it to be what two atoms so how many atoms are present two atoms in each unit cell so for this again you need to consider the cubic unit cell and for this diagram you need to draw it properly okay so now in a body center unit cell what you have is you have atoms present at the centers so let us consider four different points so one two three four okay so there should be a b c and d now in body center unit cell in addition to the atoms at the corners which are considered to be perfect square in the crystalline system you have one sphere present at the center of the cube that is somewhere here so here let us consider some spheres which are atoms one sphere let me draw it properly first so here you have then so this is a cubic unit set now here you have another sphere okay and uh, the size of the sphere has to be same okay same the radius has to be same so here i am finding it little difficult to draw the same structure same size spheres so here what you have you have another sphere which are touching each other okay one two and here one more three so i think i, I can check this now now please look at this these three spheres these are present at the these two are present present at point this point and this point and one is present at the center so these are the three spheres similarly at each corner we will be having this is pure stress so but for our class clarification for the proper understanding of this i have not drawn the other spheres okay so let us consider this is the point this is the diagonal between this and here you have a diagonal between a and d this is this is the diagonal between a and this point d so this part is over now here again in this arrangement this try to understand in this arrangement what do you have now here you have three spheres present yes or no between point this point and this point because in body center you have one more sphere so the distance between the nearest neighbor will be what distance between nearest neighbors now let us consider this is point e now since this e and b are what they are at uh, diagonally related three spheres are present similar to this structure present here here also we'll be having three spheres present at each diagonal okay similar to this arrangement of spheres each 
diagonals will be having similar type of arrangement. Therefore, here what you have to understand is distance between the nearest neighbor, that is D, will be equal to C. I am considering this diagonal A and D. Similar to this arrangement, here also you will be having three space. Therefore, D will be equal to A D by 2. Why right? A D by 2? Because here three spheres are considered. Okay? Three spheres between A and B. Therefore, the distance between the nearest neighbor is A D by 2. Okay? Therefore, you have what? A D will be equal to 2D. So this is the first expression we have. So this is expression number 1. Okay? Now, if you consider this right angle triangle A, B, C. In right angle triangle, triangle ABC what we have this AC will be equal to AC square Pythagoras theorem please don't forget this is the hypotenuse part will be equal to the square of the perpendicular and the base and uh, as you know each side it is the base length A so AC square will be equal to AB square plus BC square AB square from Pythagoras theorem plus BC square. So the each side it is having the length A is length A. Therefore, AC square will be equal to A square plus A square, which is equal to 2A square. AC square will be equal to 2A square, which implies AC will be equal to a root 2. So this is our second equation where we get the length of AC. Okay? Now, our main aim is to find the length of AD because if we can substitute AD with certain values over here then we can arrive at the packing efficiency. So now, for further calculation what you need to do is, please don't forget, A D equals to 2 D. Here, now we need to consider this triangle. A D. A D C. This triangle. Okay? So in triangle, in right angle triangle, in right angle triangle ADC what do we have? this AD square this is again from Pythagoras theorem AD square will be equal to AD square will be equal to DC square plus AC Square. So AC square. Now AD square will be equal to this. This is what? Is it is the AC side of Q. Therefore A square and AC square. Just now we have calculated AC to be A root 2. So A root 2 square. Okay? Now, a d square will be equal to a square plus 2 a square which is equal to 3 a square therefore a d will be equal to a root 3. So this is our third equation. Okay? So you have a d equals to a root 3. So now you know this length of this AD. AD is how much? A under root 3. Now this value
In our second equation, in, in our first equation, we had a b equals to 2d. Yes or no? We have a b equals to 2d from equation 1. Therefore, now what we will be doing is we will be substituting this a d with 2d. Okay? So this a d is substituted with 2d. 2d will be equal to a root 3. Now you know diameter of a sphere or a circle is always equal to 2r. Therefore, 2d will be equal to 2 into 2r which is equal to 4r. So this can be substituted. 2d can be substituted with what? 2d will be equal to 4r. 4r. 4r equals to a root 3. Now we are trying to get the value of a. Therefore we have a will be equal to 4r by root 3. This is our fourth equation. So a equals to 4r by root 3. So now we know the value of a's length with respect to what? r. Now we can calculate the volume occupied by two spheres because it is body centered. The cubic unit cell. Now we are going to calculate the packing efficiency in body centered cubic cell. So here volume occupied by two spheres. Why two spheres? Because in body center unit cell, cubic cell, in how many total what is the total number of atoms present? Two. Therefore, two into four by three pi r cube. This is the volume of pi. And what is the total volume of total volume of unit cell? Of body center unit cell, cubic cell. So let me write unit cell, body center unit cell. It will be equal to a cube. Now we can substitute a with this value 4 r by root 3 whole cube. Okay? Now what would be your packing efficiency or packing fraction? Packing fraction, as you know, it is the volume occupied by volume occupied <coughs> by two spheres by total volume of unit cell into 100 percentage. So substitute the values over here. Volume of pint is how much? This 8 by 3. 2 into 4 is 8 by 3. Pi R2 divided by total volume is 4 4 by 16 64 R cube divided by 3 root 3 so if you calculate if you calculate it then the percentage that you obtain here is 68 percentage okay the percentage that you obtain here is what 68 percentage. Don't forget this 100 percentage part here is 68 percentage. So this is the packing efficiency in body center unit cell. So now let me give you an assignment. Similarly, you will derive the packing efficiency for this face center unit cell, and it is also it is also the same in hexagonal close packing and cubic close packing which is equal to be 74 percent this is your assignment you will be doing it and you will be sending it to me packing efficiency in packing fraction or packing efficiency in 
FCC. It is same for FCT, hexagonal closed pattern, and cubic closed pattern. So, for all three of them, the packing efficiency will be 74 percentage, and this derivation you will be doing as your assignment. Now, let's move on to the next topic that is calculation of density of the unit cell. And from this unit cell, you will be getting. So, whatever we will be discussing today, you will be getting certain numericals from you. So, calculation of density of a cubic crystal. Calculation of of density. Okay. So, here you, you have a formula. How the density could be calculated? Density D will be equal to Zn by A Q into Avogadro's number and, and into 10 to the power minus 30. Okay, if you are going to calculate it in gram centimeter cube. Now here this is length A. If it is given in if A is given in if A is given in picometer pm picometer if a is given in picometer then you need to see you need to put the value of a over here and calculate density by using this particular formula and here n is the atomic mass atomic mass and z is the number of atoms present For example, if it is if cubic cell is cubic cubic cell is say body centered BCC, then the number of atoms you only know it, it is two atoms. And it is the Avogadro's number. Avogadro's number. Okay, and A is the S length given in picometer. So with this formula you can calculate the density of the unit cell. Now if you need to calculate this instead of gram, if it is you need to calculate it in terms of kg and meter cube and there is a slight change over here. If you are going to calculate it in say kilogram meter cube then here the value of 10 to the power minus 30 will be replaced with 10 to the power minus 36. So, Zn A Q A2 N 10 to the power minus 36 Kz per meter cube. So, this is the formula that you use for calculating density. And here, from here, most often you will be getting a question in your IEC. So, this was for today. We will be discussing the new topics in our next video. Till then, take care. Thank you.